Wow, I'm blown away already. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously really excited right now. Um, I'm bringing you today this 2009 E90 BMW 335i. I, I, I'm kind of very, I'm very fond of the, I guess we'll just call it the E9X generation, um, just because it's so far apart from all the other generations. Like before, the most you had was an inline six out of the M3. Now you have a twin turbo inline six out of this 335i, and then with the M3, you had the S65 V8, which they now no longer make. Like this generation, generation really just kind of I don't know there's something special about these years this generation was introduced to us in 2005 as the 2006 model at least in the United States this car in specific did come with 300 a little over 300 horsepower out of the N54 motor and um, it's much different than all of the other turbo cars in its similar class now this car is not stock a huge reason why I'm so giddy and so happy right now is because if my brain brainometer is, is speaking to me correctly it's got somewhere between 375 and 400 wheel horsepower I mean I, I'm seriously like I, I didn't expect this to be this fast or this awesome but this car is phenomenal. What this car has is it's got a JB4 tune, which one thing that's great about that is it allows the owner to actually run the 30% ethanol mix with that. Not, instead of not just E85, but he's got 30% ethanol in the tank, so that definitely, definitely, definitely helps the power, and you can feel the turbo spool much quicker along with that as well. And then along with that, he's got uh, catless downpipes, which is very, 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 very beneficial for, for turbo cars, especially these. Also, along with with all the other mods he does have a blow-off valve and the, the crazy thing about BMWs I think is like <clears throat> that's the only sound you can hear from the car these sound these cars are very naturally naturally very quiet unless you just straight pipe them but the only thing you can hear from this car is and that's the only like in gone gone bye this car is crazy and it just keeps going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Okay. And the brakes. Wow. One of the first things I noticed whenever I got into this car and started driving it was, I mean, it's really, it's really, really easy to get going. German engineering is nuts to me. Um, and I like how they have the floor pedal instead of the hanging pedal, like a lot of Japanese and even American cars. The floor pedal, is if it's very different feeling, but I mean, this car, the clutch is so user friendly and it's just, it's just easy. Like this is the easiest manual I think I've ever hopped into. Now, the problem with this car is it does have the stock ride flats and a big complaint about the 335i just in, in, in general is the fact that they have the ride flats. The ride flats are pretty terrible tires um, and they're also very, very expensive to replace. In all honesty, I would just be like, hey, screw this. I'm just going to get some real tires and if something happens, something happens. This car is very well equipped from the factory and it's extremely nice. I mean, aside from it being a BMW, the, the interiors of these cars have always intrigued me. It comes with very nice features. It's very nice and welcoming on the inside. It doesn't feel like it's, I mean, when you hop, as this car in specific, when you hop into it, you don't feel like you're about to drive a fast car. Like, you feel like, it's like, oh, hey, I'm driving a very nice, like, luxurious kind of car right now. And, but it start, it's like, once you hit four or 5,000 RPMs, it's just like, whoa! I don't know what happens. In terms of suspension too, the 335i is a very cool car because of the suspension upgrades you get with it from factories. So it's got very sporty suspension and it's got even got strut towers in the front um, to just kind of brace the front suspension. It's just, it's really cool and it's just a very, very, very nice car. This car just wants to keep pulling. It's awesome. It's extremely easy to heel toe in too. Seriously, it's so easy to heel toe in this car. It's, it blows my mind. 
I forgot I need to breathe. Breathing is something you have to you have to do in order to stay alive, and I haven't done that. BMWs are, are, are very iconic for being great road racing cars. But the cool thing about this car is, you know, not everybody in the world is, uh, you know, in tune with the high-performance driving. A lot of people like just straight-line racing, and this is a great, great, great platform um, to kind of build on. I mean, the N54 alone, the, the motor itself is actually a, a really sturdy and a really great motor. But a big problem with this car is the, uh, the, the, the two things, I guess the two things that really truly go wrong with this car all the time are the fuel pump and the water pump. Now a lot of people say that these cars are very unreliable. Now that's really not the truth. Every car is going to have its flaws but a major 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 flaw in this car especially is the fuel pump. You'll hear a lot of people be like oh yeah I'm on my 17th fuel pump on my 335i. That's probably a little bit exaggerative but at the same time like there's a lot of people that do go through several fuel pumps just because of the uh, overperforming fuel pump from factory. I just love hitting, I just love going into power, into boost with this car. Like, it, it's a mix of like the ethanol and, and also the, the upgrades and the tune and all that kind of stuff. But like this car, it just bites you in the butt. Like you just, you're just going, you really don't think you're going to be going that fast. And all of a sudden it just exponentially gets more, it just builds boost. Unlike a lot of turbo cars, it really doesn't feel like it dithers off at a certain RPM. Like it just keeps on building and building and building and building and it just, it's awesome. This car is just eating up all the bumps in the road. Like it's just, it's just, it's driving so magnificently. And oh, the, the G-Force. Wow. That was fun. Oh yes. The oversteer is magnificent. Oh. That makes me happy inside. Okay, am I pitching in a tent right now? No, I'm good. My big complaint right now is the ride flat tires. They're very inconsistent in their nature. I really don't know why you would put those tires on a car as sporty as this, but as I'm driving, like it's very, I guess it's a, it's not even really a comfortable tire. It's almost uncomfortable to be driving on these and they're very inconsistent. You could feel like slip and it's just, it's not, it's not a great tire to be running on this car. I mean, seriously, I love the gear ratios in this car. I can just sit in third all day long and just rip it. Suspension's a little bit unstable, but that's really, it's not too bad. It's just stock suspension. I've, I've had worse. All right, I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna do like a second gear pull. Here we go. Let's see what this is like. I'm at 3,000 RPMs and punch it. Build into boost. All right, and it's getting a lot of squirrely on me. Yeah, these tires really should be replaced. Wow, it just keeps going. What in the... I'm gonna keep saying it, but this car, I, I can't, I, it's so weird how fast this car is. It's not, it's obviously not uncontrollably fast. Like I'm not having to fight the car at all, but this, it's, it's weird. The twin turbo six cylinder is such an efficient platform and such an efficient way to it just, ah, oh, it's so good. And now we're going through a corner. And the nice thing about this car is it's also a proper transmission. So I'm driving it on a six speed, which is also a very solid, very solid transmission. It's very easy to shift. It's very easy to drive. It's just very easy to drive. I love hearing the turbo spool up. It's just like it spools and then you punch it and then you go. This car is the silent killer. That's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna call this car. Cause it freaking it is. You just hear the little turbo spool. You guys can't hear it, but I can. Oh man, that's good. This car has actually very much impressed me and actually blown my mind. I've never driven I've never driven a, a 335i or a modified 335i for that. But in all like I never realized that such a little amount of, of, of time, effort, and money could make so much more power so efficiently. I mean this car this car is awesome and it will completely eat like it'll completely eat my car.
it just come, just it'll destroy the dreams of my car. This car has been fun, and the power that it makes and how efficiently it makes it all the way across the power band has been amazing. I mean, the transmission's easy to drive. The the, the car just the, the way that it corners and drives really just is it's so smart and it's involving, it's a great car, it's awesome, and I very much enjoyed driving this car. And I wanna thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. If you guys have not already hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next video. Peace out. Guess while Grandpa Jenkins is driving in front of me, might as well grab some water. I just want to get, I just want to do some mad skids right now. What if I just floor it and it just get sideways? Why are you hitting your brakes? We're in a straight line. You are, you guys in Arkansas blow my freaking mind sometimes how terrible you can drive.